What an ugly nest. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Yoo-hoo! What is that sheet music? La musica si fa volare. It's a una canzone molto romantica. La 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 la. Calzoni. Prego. Can't you sing something else for a change? Come uh, piacere. Ma sfortunamente, but it's too bad. I have just uno singolo spartito. Only one musica città, comprende? <laughs> Some of it. Do you really have to keep rowing through the canals and singing? Hey, cadare, merci! I need to drive her off the dam! How do you say? It's boredom. Let's. Ah, well, now that makes sense. Cool gondola. Hey, see, see? It's a Gabriel Molto Comfortable con tutto extra special. With all the extras? What, what extras? Herbert? I don't mean to worry you, but the Organon is planning to blow up Deponia. Uh, no apprezione. Don't, don't worry. Con una bella canzone on your lips. All is gonna be ben in the end. Nothing's gonna be bene. The whole planet is gonna go kablooey. So I will sing you in the Laura. La 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 la. Oh, brother. I hope they hurry up with their explosion. Arrivederci! Huh? What that mean? Oh, nothing. Oh, stronzo! Is you matto! Make me a poof with my new sacco di aria! Now I must go to il tocco to get a replacement! <laughs> that was funny. Huh, wish I could remember. Is sugar in the tank good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. <laughs> it's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar hearing. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. Ouch! Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <coughs> Ha! Got it! Oh, so me Why don't you play something else for a change? Here! The mating song of the junk crabs. Oh, magnifico! Finalmente! Una canzone molto romantica! As long as there is no junk crabs nearby, it's not pericoloso, eh? <laughs> Mille grazie! Go, go, Rufus Rubber Arm! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that always worked before. Oops. Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Aw, oh, no. I can't while someone's watching. Closed. 
too closed for my taste. I feel like I'm being watched. Great, now the pipe's closed, but it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. I don't believe it! I don't care if you're new to the neighborhood, even if Brad Pitt, in person, stood at my door carrying cake, I would still take my nail gun and... What the? Who are you? I would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors. Holy crap on a cracker. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk! That's why! D -d Do you know Captain Bozo? Captain? Ha! Does it make you a captain these days if you only just manage to keep a rusty junk troller afloat? The only captain I know is Captain Seagull up in Bellevue. But I'll take Bozo any day over that puffed up imbecile. So, you know him? I'm uh, currently wearing his underwear, if you really must know. <laughs> I'll, uh, <coughs> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh man, that was a lousy Easter. And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! Oof! Ow! Oh. 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 He hasn't uh. got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh! Oh! Lots of friendly people here. Oh, maybe I should tone it down a bit. I don't want that. Nah, it's really small bait. Nothing like my epic whale bait made from phosphorescent anchovies. He wants his peace and quiet. He can have it. What was it I didn't want to do again with jars full of hooks? Oh yeah! Stick my hand in! Ow!
Yoo-hoo! Scram! You're scaring the fish! Uh, but... Shoot! Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So which brand do you prefer? Um... And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Hmm? Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Mm, Rufus? Uh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. Huh. Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes, who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation. Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of Goal? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to go. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. 
The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Goal and persuade her, all three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. Hello again. Ah, Rufus, how are you getting on? We really have to put Goal back together again. I'm working on it. Simply persuade her to undergo the surgery. That is, all three versions of her. Use the remote to switch between cartridges. Once you have convinced all three, send them to my lab. I'll see to the rest. What went wrong? Looks like Gilligan actually palmed off the wrong cartridges on you. Oh, what a scoundrel! Gold's mind is now distributed over three cartridges. Each cartridge contains different aspects of her character. Well, it's no big deal. If you know one side of her, you know them all. Um, not really. So, which one is the real goal? Every one of them. And none of them. Oh, I see. Just, uh, just like breeding mimicry wombats. What? No. Each of the three goals represents one side of the real goal. But the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Yeah, just like the wombats. Those critters breed like crazy if you don't watch out. What? No. Never mind. Let's just say we need all three goals to cooperate. I cannot put them back together without their consent. Hey, you don't have to tell me. I almost lost a finger once that way. These horrid little beasts. How does switching the cartridge work again? Use the remote when you're close to her. That way you can briefly detach her mind from her body. Depending on which cartridge is currently in the remote, a new mind will then be loaded to the cartridge in her implant. And the mind that was in her brain prior to that will be buffered in the ether and then saved to the cartridge in the remote. Cool! Pew pew! Um, okay. Usually at this point, people ask me whether it isn't dangerous. So the others are all wimps, unlike me. I'm just saying, the risk of lasting brain damage and all that. Quite the opposite. I'm way cool. Super cool Sheriff Rufus with his deadly remote of permanent brain damage. Pachoo! Pachoo! Uh, oh. Nice office. Gee, thanks, Rufus. Now, I would have furnished it a bit differently, but it's still not bad. Yes, I know. The shielding of the generator resonates rather awkwardly with the induction field of the magnetic solenoid coil in the main capacitor. But what would you do if you had oscillation frequencies of 6 gigahertz and more with a constant 30 teslas? Oh, yeah. Um, now, uh, yeah, uh, let me see. Um, I would uh, move the generator a little more to the left. But with this kind of field intensity, wouldn't that be too dangerous? I would hate to accidentally create a neutron star in my office. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well... You know what we're talking about, don't you? Of course I know, and I still say, more to the left. Hmm. If you think so, have you noticed anything else? Can I borrow some tools from you? Go ahead. Help yourself. All I need to do now is make a few fine adjustments. For that, I just need a hammer and some chewing gum. Yeah, sounds good. What's that funny apparatus in the lock next door? Don't you mess with that, kid. It is part of an experiment designed to revive dead brain tissue by means of well-aimed electrical impulses. But there are a few obnoxious side effects that so far I haven't been able to remedy. What kind of side effects? The electrical field is so strong that space will fold around the generator, and the resulting creases are really hard to iron out. What's the freezer for? That's where I keep the spare brains for my operations. And my lunchbox, of course. But right now, it's empty. Plenty of ice, no brains, and nothing to eat? <laughs> Sounds like a fashion show to me. <laughs> My office was cooler and bigger. Really? The one in your ex-girlfriend's house? Yep, not only bigger. There were also more blinky things. And and it also had more of those 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 things next to the door. Light switches? Precisely. Did you repair the gondolier's airbag? Yep. 
all taken care of. And the next replacement is already waiting on the pier in front of the shop. But I still have no idea how that could happen. I bet there's a criminal genius behind this. Looks more like random vandalism to me. But who am I to complain? If it weren't for random vandalism, I guess I could close my shop for good. Yeah, long live the random vandals! I'll be off then. Quite. May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. Have you got the key to the tavern bathroom? Yes, but I still need it. I have this bet going. You bet that you would use that bathroom? Uh, yeah, but I simply haven't worked up the courage yet. Scares the crap out of you, does it? That's what I'm waiting for. I'll be off then. See you around. Excuse me? Hmm? What do you want? I think an apology would be in order. What for? Like, for attacking me in the street? Listen up, kiddo. I'm a member of unorganized crime. And how does that give you the right to assault innocent passers-by in broad daylight? That's the way we roll. Cool. So, uh, unorganized crime, what is it exactly? We're just like a criminal organization without the organized bits. So, what does the Organon think of your organization? This is the floating black market, kiddo. We don't care what the Organon thinks. So, what about that Organon official right behind you? What? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Mm, say, where's your pal? Wink, he's gotten our secret hideout. Even though he's not really qualified, blind as a bat in his right eye. And the right eye is the important one, after all. Huh? Who says that? My mama. Why? Hey, do you also like to play rock, paper, scissors? Sure. Unfortunately, I left my tournament fingers in the hideout today. C could I join you, maybe? I'm incredibly unorganized. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? I'm a gifted tinkerer. Really? So what do you tinker? Power inverters, escape machines, a life of order and contentment. Yeah, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I'm very resilient. I can fall from a tower two miles high into a pile of syringes without taking any damage. Remarkable. And can you juggle balls on your nose? Oh, really? I'm a daring adventurer, not a circus ocelot. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. I am so incredibly cool. Just how cool? I'm so, like, laid back that the back of my head, like, is almost touching the ground. Yeah. Eh, that's kid stuff. You're simply not reckless enough for an unorganized criminal. And I'm a good listener. You are? That sounds interesting. They call me the Ear. You know, there's this story that I've always wanted to... Eagle Ear, master of sound waves. But my story... Listening his opponents into the dust. Uh, forget it. What? Did you, did you say something? I certainly am reckless enough. No, you're not. 
But how can I prove to you that I'm reckless enough? <laughs> You'd have to do something truly reckless, like shave Donna's cat, for instance. If that's all... Uh, that wasn't a serious suggestion. Nobody in his right mind would ever do something that reckless. Hey, I'm not nobody in his right... M I, uh, hmm. Don't try to stop me. I'll soon be part of your organization. You'll see. Ah, beat it. I'll get back to you. Whatever.